guest, um, David Mooney. So David, um, what's your opinion on standing at football grounds? Well, personally, I think if fans want to stand, then they should be allowed to stand. There's, there's, you know, you've got groups of fans who are sitting and watching the game, enjoying the game. Groups of fans who stand in seating areas and want to watch the game. You know, for years we've had fans who want to stand at matches. It's, a, it's an old tradition at football games that fans stand and watch the game. So if they want to do it, then they will find a way to do it. And if it means that they're, they're doing it in places where there are seats, they'll do it in the seats. So I think if, if they want to do it, they should be allowed to. Would you say that's because it improves the atmosphere at football games? I think it, it, it helps. It certainly helps. I mean, I think back to to old to the you know the, the 80s and, mm -hmm. and football games then. And you're thinking you've got stand, uh, fans standing in the, in the stands where you've got uh, it, it helps the the songs. It helps chants sweep around the, the the stadium, and it kind of it just improves the uh, the whole togetherness of the crowd. Where you've got you're sitting down, it's much more relaxed. It's much easier to just kind of be a bit more passive and and, yeah. and not. In, not in, not involve yourself in the uh, in the activities. Do you uh, think safety at football grounds has improved over the past couple of years? I do. Yeah, I think there's there's big things. I mean, we saw with the Hillsborough report some of the problems that that were uh, that were at football grounds. You know, you're talking um, the removal of fences to start with is is a huge one. Uh, that that sort of thing is is ever improving. The, the the actual safety of fans has been something that has been considered now, and it's certainly taken into into consideration when they design new stadiums. Um, can you understand why some fans may still have reservations about standing at games? Um, I can, yeah. I mean, it's you know we've, we we saw the tragic events of yeah. Hillsborough. We saw you know ninety six people lost their lives on that day, and I think that sort of thing it, it it leaves a lasting impression on people. And I think that when people look at it from the outside and they look at, at, at what happened on that day, it's very easy to look at it and think that it's because of you know all these fans trying to get to the front or trying to you know you know get into one place to see the game. When in actual fact, it, you know, we've, we're talking bad management. If there's, if, if it's, e if it's better managed, then you know, it can be, it can be very safe. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think safety at football grounds has improved over the years? Uh, I think it has. Yeah. I think you know, we're talking before the, uh, the the actual designing of stadiums is is something that it takes safety into consideration. The, the fact that we have no fences now in, in, at the front of the ground is, is, a, is a huge thing. It means that something like Hillsborough were to happen with too many fans in an area, they can spill onto the pitch, there's space for them to go. Mm. And this, this sort of thing is always thought about now. We have, you know, you've got huge seating areas, but there is enough room for people to be in there. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's enough room for, for medical people to be around should they need to be. So it's all, it's all thought out. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, David. Thank you.